students today we are going to discuss life cycle of chera first of all we want to know that what is chera chera is a green alga which is found in submerged in fresh water ponds we had already discussed its structure in another video so let's uh, uh, revise one more time chera is a small plant like alga which is found in uh, submerged in water these are the rhizoids which are penetrate in the mud of the water and uh, from rhizoid there arises a stem like structure uh, which uh, grows upright and uh, their plant body is thalloid because uh, they do not contain true stem root and leaves anyhow they have a stem like structure and leaf like structure also this plant has two types of branches one branches are with of limited growth and the other one are with unlimited growth there are also some nodes and internodes present on this plant uh, today we are going to discuss reproduction in chera there are two types of reproduction usually found in chera asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction takes place uh, with many ways and first way is uh, amylum star formation at the point of junction of node where node is present and branches of limited growth are emerging from the stem there produces a structure which is uh, resembles star like this is known as amylum star this uh, amylum star is filled with starch when it matures it uh, fell down from the body of the chera and where it fell it uh, germinates into a new vegetative plant body of chera so this is how they reproduce asexually the other method of asexual reproduction are bulbils bulbils are also produced at the point of nodes where uh, branches originate from the stem bulbils are bulb like and they also contain some starch like material stored food when they mature they fall down at the any substratum and where they can germinate into new plants and there are also some other uh, uh, methods of asexual reproduction like protonema formation but that are not most important now let's move on to the uh, re sexual reproduction in chera so at the plant body of chera there are branches of limited growth as you can see here some of these branches contain sexual organs which are anthidia and archegonia which are produced on specialized branches so i have taken a small piece of that branch right over here this is a branch and on this branch there are some leaf like structure which are known as lateral's and uh, in this diagram the blue part of the diagram is a nucule which is a female fructification and a red color diagram shows that it is a globule which is a male fructification uh, fructification is a part of uh, alga part of the body which produces uh, spores so that is why we call it fructification so let's move on to the detailed structure of these fructification so first of all i have taken a globule from right over here and enlarged it with microscopes you can see right over here there is a pedicel with help of pedicel this globule attaches with the stem or branch of the plant body it also has this uh, layer of cells around the body which is known as uh, shield cells uh, which you can see in the black and green color inside this globule there are rod like structures which are known as manubriums which runs from center and uh, terminate at the uh, shield cell in between the center of the globule you can see the globule parts uh, globule part of the uh, globule which is known as primary capitulum and from primary capitula and there arise a red circle as you can see in this diagram these red circle are known as secondary capitula or secondary capitulum and from there as these are special type of cells uh, which are going to form specialized structure which are going to synthesize anthrozoid which are male gametes from primary capitula produces secondary capitula the from secondary capitula are produce tertiary capitula and sometime from secondary capitula arises thread like structure as you can see in the red color of diagram these red color thread like structures are known as spermatogenous filaments these spermatogenous filaments are going to produce uh, anthrozoids which are male gametes when this globule matures it produces thousands of uh, uh, anthrozoids which are released into atmosphere into water with the help of a small tiny pore on the top of the globule uh, 
on the lower side as you can see this diagram this is a structure of a detailed structure of nucule which is a female fructification of chera nucule also has a pedicel cell and also contains shield cells on the top of the nocky nucule there is a group of cells which are known as corona which are just like a crown just below the corona there is a spot which is known as a receptive spot which from where antherozoid or sperm are going to penetrate inside to inside this structure in the center you can see nucleus which is a uh, oospore which is going to be fertilized by the sperm and there are some steroid cells which help in the uh, store, uh, storage of food and formation of zygote and then developing into embryo when the breeding season starts uh, sperms uh, are released into the water and with the help of chemotaxis sperms are uh, move from uh, globule towards nucule sperms are flagellated and they can easily swim in water and they enter from receptive site into the nucule where they fertilize the nucleus of this egg or oospore and after fertilization it develops into zygospore and zygote is formed right over here you can see the diagram of a zygote which is diploid cell and uh, it's uh, too soon changes into an embryo which is usually known as zygospore and on favorable condition it starts to germinate first of all its nucleus is going to divide it divides into four cells three of the cells are going to de degenerate while remaining one cell is known as lenticular cell lenticular cell is going to uh, reproduce uh, per, uh, multiply and going to develop into shoots and root like structures right below the lenticular cell there is a storage cell where food is stored for developing embryo in the next step you can see that degenerating cells are going to degenerate while lenticular cell is going to divide into two cell one of the cell is known as protonemal initial while the other cell is known as rhizoid initial protonemal initial is going to develop into protonema like structure which is a alga like structure which is going to develop into shoots while rhizoid initial is going to develop into rhizoid which are root like structure as uh, in the next diagram you can see that uh, degenerative cell has been degenerated only the protonema initial and rhizoid initial has been developed into a shoot like structure and a root like structure a shoot like structure is known as protonema which is going to develop into shoot and there are two types of shoots which are produced on this plant body and on the lower side you can see the rhizoid which is a root like structure which is going to develop into the water or into the mud of the water so this is a germinating zygote after germination it completed its life cycle so in this way the whole life cycle of the chera has been completed i hope it makes sense and i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye